The purpose of this video is to show you how to use the automated file converter that takes a JET 10 Excel spreadsheet file and converts it into a SolidWorks CAD file. The first thing you have to do is get the shortcut to the file converter from the K drive. So K drive DF DFAN AE481 and the very first folder in the AE481 uh, folder is the JetCAD automation. Go to the Jet, Jet automation folder and grab that shortcut and bring it down to your desktop. Then you can exit from Windows Explorer, double click that um, shortcut. We do want to run that unknown publisher is known to us because we contracted with them to create this file converter. So we take the window and put it over on the right side of the screens because uh, some other windows are going to pop up on the left side of the screen and uh, we want to be able to see them. First we select our JET file. This can be any folder uh, where you have your um, JET files stored, the ones you've been working on for the uh, for DID3, the one that you like the best and want to cr create into a CAD file. I'm going to use this one and takes a moment. Now once our JET file is loaded, we'll go ahead and run SolidWorks. Now when it offers you uh, to let you view the generated model in SolidWorks, don't do it. That isn't working very well. Much easier to open SolidWorks. So just say no and then you can X out of the converter window and open up SolidWorks. Once we have SolidWorks open, we'll find the file and the location of the file was uh, listed on that window and if you don't remember it I'll show you where it is. It will always be on the C drive unless you direct it somewhere else in the SolidWorks data folder in uh, curve data model and it'll be the jet model. It'll always be named that. Um, you can open the solid part, the SolidWorks solid part file, but when you do, it will have all of the defaults, all of the preferences that the of the person who uh, wrote the software. And I don't like his preferences, and so I'd rather have my own preferences, which are already set up in my SolidWorks. So if I load the step file, it will uh, load. It's the same geometry, and it has all of my preferences set in SolidWorks. Likewise, if you are using Fusion, 
you want to load the step file into Fusion and it'll load right in and you can be able to edit it there. So I'm going to open that step file. I don't need to do import diagnostics and I don't need to do feature recognition but it is a little hard to see the model and so I want to uh, show the edges and now here's my model the one thing it doesn't have from Jet is the inlets and that's what you'll have to draw is the inlets uh, add those to the CAD file but if you view it from let's say a top view yeah top view or if you look at it from a three-quarter view you can't see the inlets anyhow and you can use those images capture those images by hitting print screen use those images in your uh, presentations